Hey guys, Mike here from Build Assets Online, and I just wanted to come to you today with a quick video about a recent experiment I did. So um, recently, we, I bought a website we did for nine thousand dollars. It was a drop shipping website, and if you're not familiar with what drop shipping is, essentially the way that we do drop shipping is that we work with real U.S. suppliers and we create, you know, professional-looking, high-quality websites. And we also use different paid traffic methods to bring in customers that are ready to buy and are, you know, typically have a higher conversion rate than, say, doing a cold Facebook ad or, you know, anything social like that. So essentially um, what we did, I'm just going to get right into it, was I had been in contact with this person and they came to me with the deal that they were looking to get rid of their website for $9,000. I had taken a look at a, at a website and usually if someone comes to me and you know they've made a website acquisition and they want to know how to grow it usually the first thing I would say is you know add new suppliers right so if your website is going good and you want to take it to the next level the way that we do things the easiest way is just to add new suppliers and if they're good you can create you know um, a decent profit margin between the ads you spend on them and the you know the profit you get out of their their products but with this website actually I did not need to get any new suppliers or do anything like that to, to take the website from buying it for nine thousand dollars to it now earning nine thousand dollars a day in revenue so the first thing that we did was we essentially went through and we took a look at all the data, all the sales history, and we saw what the best selling products were. And we took a look at their history in Google ads. And we wanted to see essentially how they were allocating their budgets, how they were, um, you know, utilizing their spend. And, you know, when you do this, a lot of times you'll see that there's an inconsistency between people and, you know, they, they, they see what products are selling well for them, but meanwhile, a lot of their budget is going towards things that aren't working. So immediately off the bat, once we acquired the website, um, I redid the ad structure, and um, in our course, Instant E-Commerce Ad Set, I show you how to you know, do ads just like I do it. And um, yeah, no secrets, it's all there, exactly what I did. And you know, so I, I restructured the ads, to favor more of the better selling high margin products and lower the you know ad spend on products that just weren't making sense for the business the next thing that we did um maybe after even a month or two was we just redesigned the website to look more professional and to put in the you know conversion assets that we talk about in our course again that you know are in the right place on the website to drive calls to drive sales and to you know just generate better customer interaction. So just by doing those two things, we were already able to get to maybe thirty thousand dollars a month off of a website that was doing ten thousand dollars a month on its best uh, its best outing. So simply by just making those simple tweaks, not having any you know of our own data to go off of, just seeing where the site was at and putting in our own little methods we just instantly made our money back so i think like i said i bought it for nine thousand and then by december we had already made nine thousand dollars back in profit that just covered the covered the website so i think it was like three months of doing that that made us our money back and uh if you're familiar with what we teach you know we make websites that are built to sell as assets online so whether you have an e-commerce website that does drop shipping or it does private label or an FBA website or Kindle publishing or a blog website, all of these things are like mini pieces of real estate in the online world that you can actually sell. So depending on, you know, a variety of factors, you can sell your website for between usually 20 to 30, even up to, you know, 36 and 50 if it's a really really good and aged website you know we like to stay between 20 and 30 just because it doesn't take you know more than a year and a half to two years to actually build the site up to it being worth that value and um 
you know, if you want to have something that you can sell quickly, we really just have nailed down the process of doing that, you know, on, on multiple fronts. So like I said, it's usually 20 to 30 times monthly profit is what a website sells for. We made our money back on the website that we bought for $9,000 in three months. So if you want, you know, if you're struggling with your store right now, it may not be that you need to get new suppliers. All you need to do is essentially tweak your ads to be structured. So you're getting more targeted keywords that you're, you know, you're bidding for, and then just allocate all of your spend to those keywords that are actually going to make you big money. And then just redesign your site. Um, not even a full overhaul, but just put things in place that drive conversion actions. So you need something on your site that's going to tell people to call if you have the infrastructure to do that. Um, you know, we hire people from the Philippines to handle our calls for us. And, you know, it, it works out because customers, they may come on your site. You're not Amazon. You don't have all the trust in the world. And if they see a number and they have a question and they call it and someone answers right away, that's a huge boost for you over the competition because you can't really call someone on Amazon easily. You can't ask them questions about a product. So you're framing yourself as an expert. You're framing yourself as a real business and it's all about customer perception. And once you have these people on the phone, the likelihood of getting sales is just so much more. Even if they don't convert right there <clears throat> over the phone, uh, again, the rapport that you've built with them is just is just miles ahead of any other website if they haven't, you know, called them yet. So, yeah, that's um, essentially all we did to take a website from nine thousand dollars as a sale price, get nine thousand dollars a day in revenue, and make our money back in three months. So, if you have any questions, um, we do outline everything that you know that we like to do when we build e-commerce websites to build them into an asset that we can sell for 20 to 30 times their monthly profit. You know, we've sold websites for over $100,000 before. We've bought websites of our own and applied these tactics and it's all inside instant e-commerce asset. And yeah, leave a comment below if you have any questions or I hope to see you inside. Take care.